Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today I'll be reviewing set 75333. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. It has 282 pieces and retailed for $30. The three minifigures contained in this set are Obi-Wan, R4P17, and Tan Wee. It also has, of course, his Starfighter in the background. So let's look at Obi-Wan, start things off. Um, he has two faces, one with a small earpiece slash microphone, and one without. Let's twist his head around. Of course, he has the longer reddish hair piece that he usually has in the episode two variant of his minifigure. I do believe this minifigure is exclusive to the set. I do not think that this minifig comes in any other sets, but it is really simple with uh, pretty generic looking Jedi robes. He does have the newer style hood piece though. So that's that that's cool. I honestly prefer the older style of hood piece, but it doesn't look bad on this minifig. Then let's look at the next minifig who is R4P17. If I'm getting his name wrong, please let me know in the comments down below because I am not 100% on that. But anyways, R4 has a red half dome with the printing that you'd see on any standard astromech. He doesn't look that uh, different than any other astromechs. doesn't really have any uh, unique features. It just looks like a red variant of R2-D2. But yeah, it looks good. That's pretty much all I have to say about him. And then we have our first ever Kaminoan minifigure, Tan Wee. This is a first and it does look good. The headpiece um, is kind of weird. I was expecting these to be two different pieces, but this is one mold here. And the head itself, honestly, it kind of looks creepy with the sunken in jaws and big bulging eyes. I don't know. I think it's creepy, but you're entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe it's just me. But yeah, I personally think that's a little creepy looking. And then the torso and uh, dress piece, they ha have pretty un um, pretty complex, or not, not complex, but intricate. That's the word I'm looking for. Pretty intricate printing and does look pr very nice. And does have some nice back printing on the dress piece and torso there. And let's move on to the build itself, Obi-Wan Starfighter. So I guess the underbelly, we should, let's start the underbelly, because why not? So if you look down here, there's nothing much going on except for the landing gear. So you can just close that like so, and then you don't have to worry about it, or down. Real simple feature, nothing complex. It also has a clip here and a clip here to put Obi-Wan's lightsaber on. Stick that right there, out of the way. And up top, you can stick R4 inside of here. Nice little hidden feature. Also, th this set does have an antenna, like the one you see popping out of the ship to send messages back and forth from Coruscant to Coruscant. So you just take, you just take R4's head off, stick his body inside of there and stick his head on here, which can be kind of annoying to take off, FYI. But it's not too bad. Stick that back on, fits on like so. Looks really nice, but it does have a lot of stickers, which I'll get to in a moment. It has the newer style stud shooters here, which shoot much better than the old ones. And you got the fin in the back, which does look really nice. I've always wanted, I haven't had a version of the Jedi Starfighter. I have Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, but I've never had a Jedi Starfighter before. Slightly different names. But I've always liked this look and this version of the Jedi Star, Jedi Starfighter. Um, but yeah, this set is way too many stickers. Stickers here, stickers there. They couldn't even print the Republic logo, which is just sad. They got stickers all, all along here. The only printed piece in this whole set, I believe is, I mean, other than the minifigures, obviously, is that control panel right there. Other than that, all the sets in this build, all the pieces on this build that have detailing on them, that's all stickers. 
and it's kind of sad that LEGO can't just print this. They're just being lazy, and it's kind of like Speed Champions. It's, it's annoying. A lot of these are a little difficult to put on, and I just don't like it. They don't look as good as prints. Just print the pieces, okay? Like, you can't print, like, a white triangle shape on that on a one by three tile, but you can print all that, all those buttons on that small slanted control panel. I don't know, Lego's being lazy. It's annoying. But yeah, you can stick Obi-Wan inside the cockpit. It has two studs on the bottom to hold him down. He fits in very easily and snugly. If I can stick him in there, there we go closes up like so it looks really nice he can fit in with his hair or his um hood obviously and he can have either face you know depending on what you want so it's a nice set i really like it i'm glad i bought it because i've always wanted a starfighter like this but 30 bucks is too much man <laughs> 30 bucks is too much so this is a 20 dollars set right here this is this is twenty dollars but this costs thirty dollars it's um it's ten dollars too expensive has way too many stickers instead of prints it does have the new unique Kaminoan which is nice um the Obi-Wan I believe is unique to this set the R4 I have no idea but it's it's all nice except for the price pretty much and the stickers That'll pretty much do it for my review for this set. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you've noticed, I've changed my name on both Instagram and YouTube to, my, to The Republic Brick. So follow me on Instagram at The Republic Brick and follow me on and uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.